what is the university doing now amid the strike? Uh, what would they do if the strike prolonged further? What happens to the, cal the calendar when they return, when the lecturers return? Oh. Yeah, so it depends on how long uh, or how much time we've lost. Um, so if we've lost a significant amount of time that we cannot make up um, with extra hours of teaching or extra assignments, then we may have to extend the academic calendar a little bit. Okay. Uh, so again, we have to wait for when the strike is called up. Then we assess the lost time and how we recover that. Mm. Uh, so we, uh, all options would be considered whether to uh, ask the lecturers to make up the time by, you know, doing extra teaching or extra uh, hours with the students, mm. but we are not necessarily extending the the level of the academic year, or we add a few more weeks to the academic year so so the this all will depend on how much time has been lost mm. and so, is, uh, so are you suggesting that we're still going to have the 12 weeks of teaching and learning uh, regardless of the time we start the, the academic that's what i'm saying i'm saying it depends on how long if we've lost five weeks or six weeks mm. then we have to extend the academic year so that we can um you know make up for the make up the, okay. We cannot guarantee that we we'll do 12 weeks. We can do 11 or 10, and then the lecturers will have to do some extra work to to make up the difference. But all this will be decided based, based on uh, how long or how much time we've lost. Uh, so so I, yeah, I, I'm not sure we can guarantee that we'll still do 12 weeks. Uh, you know, because it's, we've already- um, Lost two weeks. Sorry. We've already lost two weeks and uh, if you are going to do, uh, if you are going to maintain the, the length of time, that means you extend by two weeks, and there's a lot of implications for that. Mm -hmm. So, so we have to consider everything together, and then we we'll decide the best strategy to make up the time. Then it, it may be a combination of the two: extend the time a little bit, and also ask the lecturers to uh, make up the lost time uh, in other ways, such as assignments. So, you know, everybody has to contribute. The students may have to. Uh, do assignments to cover some of the topics and all those things. <laughs> well, this is going to put more pressure on students and and lecturers <laughs> the, the, the and the student. university. All oh, right, but still remember that every mm -hmm. all these pressures yeah. they affect everybody in the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. It's not just you; it affects everybody. Mm -hmm. The lecturers are also under pressure. In fact, more than you, because when you tell the lecturer that. Mm -hmm. You know, something that you're supposed to teach in 12 weeks, now you have to do it in 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. Then they have to rearrange mm -hmm. and think about how to cover the material, think about what they can give you to go and uh, do as assignment, which they have to grade and all those things. So it, it puts pressure on everybody, trust me. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't feel sorry for yourself because it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's a situation that everybody will feel. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody will feel the impact. There's no doubt. Everybody feel, in, including the UTAG people who are on strike, they'll feel it. So so let's not let's not minimize